Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I'm so excited to be sitting down and filming with you guys today. I am so excited about playing with this new collection. I've been dying to and I just have not had a chance amidst all my moving, but we're getting to the point where we're getting pretty settled and now I'm gonna be able to start getting on a regular filming schedule again and I'm so excited, you have no idea. Anyways, in this video we are gonna be playing with the new Rococo collection from Musée Beauty. This did launch a couple weeks ago. This is their spring collection and I'm really excited to be sharing this with you. They did send this to me in PR and I'm so grateful that they sent it to me. I'm really excited about all the pieces and I just can't wait to show you what it's all about. I do also have a discount code with Musée Beauty. It is Butte Bean. It'll save you 10% on your order. I do make a small commission off of that code and I do appreciate it if you use it, but no pressure. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be doing close-ups, swatches, create this look. I played with most of the products today and I will give you my thoughts to the best of my ability at the end of the video. This isn't technically a full review because it is my first time using this collection, but I will keep playing with it and keep you updated on what I think about everything. Before we hop into the swatches and tutorial, let me just give you my details. My necklace today is from Shop Sun & Co. I think it was hiding under my shirt here. You can use my affiliate code BUTBEAN for 10% off. This is a Christmas brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. And this is a Neff brand beanie. So yeah, without further ado, I think I got all of that beginning stuff out of the way. Let's just hop in and chat about these products. I'm so excited about this Rococo collection. In case you don't know who Musée Beauty is, they are a really cool indie brand. They base their collections around different art movements and I'm really excited about them getting into a new phase. I'm not the most art savvy. I don't really know a lot about art history and this brand has been really cool because it's been helping me learn things that I didn't know before. So let's talk about the pieces in the Rococo collection. There are two new color washes, which are their cream blush duos. And I really, really like this formula. I really adore the two that I already have and I'm really Really excited about adding two more to my collection. The first duo is the Youth and Play duo. Youth is a really pretty creamy, more satiny matte finish, kind of peachy pink. And then Play is a really cute, more of a shimmery cream blush and a little bit more of like a poppy orange color. This one's my favorite of the two. It's really cute. This is the one I used today and I just love it. I think it's so cute so far. Obviously I've only used this the one time, but I am familiar with this product from them and I do really like it. I think it performs really well. It's very easy and I love a good blush duo. I think blush duos are so cute because you can kind of mix and match, swirl things together. It's fun. I always like that they come out with multiple shades too so that they can have ones that suit more lighter skin and ones that suit more darker skin. The darker of the two palettes is Exuberance and Soft. I really like this one as well. This one isn't going to be most pale people's cup of tea. This is definitely geared towards people with a darker skin tone than mine but I do like a pigmented darker blush on the occasion so I was ready to eat this one up as well. Exuberance is a very pretty shimmery, also kind of an orange, but more of a burnt orange rather than a poppy orange. Here, I'll hold this one up too so you can kind of see the difference. It's definitely more of like that burnt orange. I'm going to love this palette in the fall, I can tell you right now. And Soft is a really pretty almost like a burgundy apple shade. It's really cool. I do not have blush shades like this in my collection, so I was really excited about it. Moving on to a new product from them, they came out with these matte liquid shadows, and when I first saw that they were coming out with these, I was intrigued, but I wasn't overly excited because I have never played with like a matte liquid shadow in my life. It's just never something I felt compelled to use, but I was still interested in trying it, and I did use one of them today, and I'm excited to keep using them. The shades are Amethyst, Citrine, and Jade. Amethyst is a really pretty kind of darker lilac shade. It's really cute. I like these tones specifically because they're like pastels but like a little bit deeper a little bit more of like a grungier tone but they're still pastel at the same time I, I don't know how to explain it but they're beautiful but yeah amethyst is kind of like a deeper lilac citrine is kind of like a deeper rosy peachy color it's still bright don't get me wrong these shades are all still bright but they're just pastels but different I don't know how to explain it and last is Jade. It's the one I'm wearing on my lid now. It's like a darker mint shade. It's so pretty. I'm really excited about all of these. I really like the packaging and I'm excited to keep playing with them. And finally, we have the Rococo palette. I will say my only critique so far with this collection is I wish this palette wasn't so big. It's quite bulky. It's more of like a book style. They did a style like this with their small, what was it called? Van Gogh palette, um, but I like the smaller palettes from them, like the thinner palettes, because they even have the Impressionism palette, which is this size, but just thinner. And I don't like the book style, but 
That's my only critique so far. Packaging is stunning though. I absolutely love the artwork. On the inside, we have 16 shades, a mixture of mattes and shimmers. We have some pastels, some more vibrant shades, some neutrals. I don't own this palette, but in my head, I feel like this gives me Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde vibes. If you own that palette, let me know if you feel like you get a similar vibe too. I could obviously look up a picture and see for myself, but just in my brain, I feel like this gives me those vibes. I used to want that palette pretty bad. I never ended up getting it, so I don't know. This kind of like fills a little hole in my heart that I forgot that I had. I don't even know if it's the same. I'm not saying it's a dupe or anything, but that's just the vibe it initially gave me when I first saw it and when I first held it in my hand. I'm really excited about this. I do plan on doing an Instagram video at some point. I don't think I'm going to do a two looks video with this. I might try to do a get ready with me, but I have a list of like two looks videos that I want to get done that I haven't been able to do in a long time because of my move. So I don't know if I'll be able to get to this one as well because those videos are very time consuming and I kind of have to prioritize the palettes that you guys really want to see two looks with most. So we'll just see. I will for sure do an Instagram video at the very least, if not also a get ready with me. But yeah, that is the collection. I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to dive in more and I can't wait for you guys to see how I created this look. I'm, I don't know, I'm just in a good mood. I'm really excited to be filming again. I get to film again tomorrow and Wednesday and maybe even Friday. I love filming. I love filming so much and I'm excited to just be on a regular schedule where I'm not constantly pre-filming anymore and I can just film what's current, what's happening. I'm not filming things and then posting it a month later anymore and it's gonna be great. So without further ado, let's just hop in, create this look. I played with a lot of these products and then at the very end of the video, I will give you my thoughts on everything to the best of my ability so far. Hi, hello. I'm so excited to be filming right now. This is my second time filming in my new house. Today's Monday the 10th, I'm getting ready for work. I think this video is going up tomorrow and I'm just really excited. I also feel like I look wild right now because my face is just completely lacking dimension because we're gonna do blush together. I do already have my Fenty Skin Tint Concealer, a little bit of powder under my eyes and then some bronzer on, but we're gonna do blush together because there is a blush in the collection. Actually, there's two blush duos. And the one I wanna to use today is this one, the Youth in Play one, and I really wanna use the shade Youth. I think that's really pretty, and I think that's gonna complement what I'm gonna do on the eyes really nicely. So I really wanna play with like the purples, periwinkles, and mints. I think that's gonna be a really cute vibe. I do like these cream blushes. I feel like they play really well on top of creams, but they also can work decently on top of powders if you don't have a ton of powder on and if you go in with a light hand. I like using these with a brush and a sponge. I usually like to go in with a brush first and then kind of tap over it with a sponge. So that's what I'm gonna do today. This is my Alter Ego number two brush. It's just kind of like fluffy, but also dense and I really like it. So I'm just gonna dabble into some of that youth shade. I'm gonna reveal the fact that my wig is not glued down. That's okay. And I'm just gonna go in a little bit at a time. Oh, look how cute that already is. And I'm just gonna kind of drape this blush around my temples. I almost said blush this drape around my temples to give a nice, just lifted, glowy effect. If it's not blended too well on my forehead, that's fine because I'm clearly wearing a hat today. Ooh, yes. I like that quite a lot, actually. I hope you're doing well today. What are you up to? What are your plans? I just have work all day after this and I'm excited. I'm excited to just kind of be back in the swing of things. It feels good. Oh, I really like this blush. Obviously, I've only just started using it, but this might so far be my favorite blush duo from them. I really like the colors in here. I just, I love these like peachy, pinky, corally kind of colors. It's always my favorite for blush. Yep, I love it. <laughs> I wanna just tap a little bit around my nose now. This might be risky because I feel like my nose has not been cooperating with makeup lately. Once in a while, my nose just isn't feeling it. So far, this is cute though. Just kind of draping it across the top to where the sun would kind of hit it. I know that looks crazy. <laughs> Gonna take a little bit of it also on my beauty sponge just to help kind of blend it in and across and spread it out. Just like so. Ooh, I like it. I also wanna dabble just a little bit on the tip. I like this blush a lot. It's so pretty and I feel like it actually is sitting really, really, really well on my skin today, so that's good. I feel like my face is so not used to makeup now because I've only worn makeup, like face makeup, twice in the last 10 days, I wanna say. So it's not really used to it. I've worn eyeshadow a couple times, but 
that is not used to face makeup and I'm also just not used to doing it. I'm out of practice, what can I say? Totally unrelated to this collection, but I am just gonna throw some freckles on with my Jason Wu, Jason the Freckled Boy freckle tint. Add my little under eye beauty mark and then enhance my cheek ones that I already have. And then I'm just going to dabble a little bit across my nose. I don't wanna be overly freckled today. I just want a little bit of like sun-kissed kind of spots. Just like that, and I'm just gonna use my sponge to very lightly tap them and blend them into the skin so that they look nice and soft and cute. And I'm just gonna let my other ones sit because I like those to sit and kind of get dark. And while it's doing that, I'm actually going to throw in my brow gel. Just realized I totally forgot to throw in my clear brow gel today. This is the NYX Brow Glue. I'm gonna just fluff them up really quick. Now I'm just gonna use my finger and just lightly tap these spots so that they blend in. And that's it. And then quickly just throwing on some highlight. There's nothing in this collection I can personally use as a face highlight. So I'm just gonna use my Seismic Highlight from ColourPop. Really like this one and I haven't used it in a long time actually. So I'm really excited to play with it again. It's very soft and glowy and has little sparkles in it. It's so pretty. Pretty sure I like this one more than Flexitarian. And Flexitarian was my number one for a very long time. I don't know what my number one favorite highlight is right now. I would have to think about that. This one's definitely up there. This one's probably in my top five. It's just so cute. Now I'm just gonna quickly spray my face. This is the 43 Beauty Glisten Up Illuminating Mist, and then we will move on to the eyes. All right, let's play with some eyeshadow. I'm so excited. This is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just going to plop that on and blend it out. And I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. I am so excited because this collection has a palette. It has these cute liquid shadows and I'm just, ooh, I'm excited to play. So I think my plan is I want the inner part of my crease to be this blue boy shade. It looks kind of periwinkle to me and I love that. And then I want that to fade into romance in the outer corner, blending it out with joyous. And I might deepen it up with this dark brown shade. I think that'll be really cute. I'll probably also pop royal on the lower lash. Then I wanna use one of these liquid shadows to do like a cut crease. And hopefully it goes well. And if it goes bad, I'll just top it with a shimmer. But I think that'll be a cute way to try those out. All right, so let's just take Blue Boy to start with. This is a ColourPop E2 brush. Tap it off and I'm just going to go to town on this inner corner. I'm pretty excited about this color story, but I will say this is not what I expected, especially because when they did the Le Jardin palette and then it sold out because it was a limited edition thing, they said something to the extent of like, if you missed out, don't be sad, you'll probably really like the spring collection. So I really thought that this palette was gonna be an extension on that little palette. And I feel like they're definitely completely different vibes. I do like this color story though, but I almost feel like they shouldn't have said that, I don't know. I feel like they alluded to the fact that it was gonna be really similar to the Le Jardin and I feel like it's a completely different vibe. That's what I'm getting at, but I do think it's cute and I'm very excited. Ooh, yes, looking good. I wanna just go ahead and take Joyous and just start swirling some of that in the outer part of my crease. This is a, an SL Miss Glam L34. I got this from a BoxyCharm a million years ago. <laughs> It's just a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna dust that through my crease, start working on building this outer corner shape because I do want a little bit of a winged out kind of a look. Oh, I really like the colors in here. I'm excited to play with it more. All right, let's deepen things up. I wanna take Romance, this really beautiful kind of berry purple. It's so cute. And I'm gonna take that on this e.l.f. crease brush. It's like a long, skinny, blending brush. So I just want to focus that in the outer corner. Just focus that on the second part of my crease. I don't really want this to go into the periwinkle too much. I more so just want it to be out here to add this splash of color. And I'm going to smudge some of this on the outer part of my lower lash line. Oh, look at that color. That's so pretty. And I really like it against that. Uh, bluey periwinkle shade, it's so cute. I'm gonna take Joyous again, that lighter purple on the fluffy brush, and I'm holding the very end of my brush so I have light pressure, and I'm just going to fluff the edges so it's nice and blended. Oh, I love how this is coming out so far. 
It's all performing so pretty. I do want to take a little bit more of Blue Boy and just fluff a little bit more of that through the front just so that I don't lose it in the mix. Yep, that looks good. I do think I want to deepen it up just a teeny bit more, so I do want to take that brown mat that's up here. I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush. This is a Spectrum A12. I'm going to just stamp it in my outer corner like so. I don't want to take this out or up too far. I'm going to smudge a little down here as well just because I really want to create that depth. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Romance, that purpley berry kind of color on that e.l.f. brush. Again, holding very light pressure on my brush. And I'm just very lightly smudging at the edge with this shade. Oh, yes, this is giving me that drama that I needed. That's so pretty. And now I'm going to take Joyous on that big fluffy brush and again holding it at the very end so I have light pressure. I'm going to go to town with this as well to really just get that blown out dramatic outer corner. Oh, yes, I love that. Adding the brown was such a good idea, I think. I think when I do the cut crease with that bright pop of liquid shadow, I think this is going to have a really cool color story on my lids today. Yep, I love it. <laughs> I do want to take this shimmer really quick and just complete my lower lash line. I'm going to take that on this little smudgy pencil brush. It's a Luxie 111. And I want to just pop some of that down here. So cute. That complements that crease in the front that I have so nicely and I feel like kind of connects this whole situation. I don't think I've played with these kinds of tones together in quite a long time actually now that I think about it. Okay so for the cut crease there are three shades and I really want to play with the mint if you couldn't tell by my wig today. This one is called Jade. I just feel like it matches perfectly. Didn't even plan this with my nails. I painted them last night. I guess that's just the vibe I was feeling. But I do want to do like a half cut crease with this shade and just have it smudge into it. I don't know how this is gonna perform. They don't have a product like this, so I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm hoping it's gonna go well. I'm gonna use this Spectrum A16 flat brush to help me out. And I'm just gonna do what I do if I'm doing like concealer or doing my big wings with black. So I'm going to draw a little bit of this right against my lid and I'm going to look up so that I can see where it transfers on my eye in particular. I'm going to add just a little bit more and do the same. There we go. So I can now kind of follow this line and create a nice crisp cut look. This is definitely going to be more precise than my shimmer cut creases because I can usually just use glitter glue. I don't have to play with liquids, but I am not afraid. Actually, this uh, consistency feels really nice. It's like kind of runny, but it's not like messy runny, but it's not thick either. It's pretty thin. So I don't know. I have high hopes that this is going to go well, and if not, then I will top it with a shimmer and we'll just pretend that this never happened. I feel like the fact that it does kind of sheer out when you like kind of pat at it would make it really easy to use like just by itself. I'm not a big just like... I don't know. I don't use liquid shadows too often, and especially mattes. I don't think I have any matte liquid shadows. I think this is literally the first time I've used something like this. So I don't know how often I would reach for this, but I could see some people reaching for this pretty frequently just to like dab something on their eyes, tap it out and call it a day. And right now that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just tapping right here just so that it can all connect and flow. I'm not grabbing any additional product as I'm reaching the out outer uh, edge here. I'm just kind of tippy tapping right to the very edge of what I laid down. And now I'm going to take the pencil brush that I had with the brown. I don't have any additional product. Very, very light pressure. I'm just going to start kind of smudging and hope this works. I don't know if it will. I'm kind of doing little taps and little smudges. So I really want this to all flow together. But usually I have a better time with this with shimmer into matte because it's not that hard to blend. But now I'm trying to blend a liquid matte into a powder matte. I feel like that's going okay, actually. I'm gonna take just one of my other brushes. Actually, I feel like that looks pretty decent. I'm not mad at that at all, actually. That was 
easier to play with than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was gonna give me a little bit more trouble, but I actually quite like that. I think it looks really smoky. I like it, it's like, I don't know what to describe it. It's like grungy pastels. It's kind of cool. For my inner corner, I was thinking maybe the yellow would be a cute little bright pop. And if I hate it, I could always just take my face highlight over top of it. So I'm gonna take that on this little Alter Ego number eight brush. Just do this little pop of yellow. Ooh, I actually do like that. I think that adds a nice little bright spot to this look. I'm actually really impressed with how easy that liquid shadow was to work with. Obviously, I'll keep my eye on it if there's any like creasing. I feel like it looks pretty decent. There might be a little bit of sheerness throughout it. Like, I don't know if it's completely opaque. Maybe I can try to fix that. I'm gonna take the wand again and just wipe off as much excess as possible so I'm not grabbing too much product on my brush. And let's just, let's just kind of tippy tap on the middle again. See if I can unshear out some of these spots. But I also don't wanna to go too hard and then mess up everything that I worked for because I'm pretty content with this. I think that's probably as good as I'm gonna get it. I think it looks pretty good. Especially for my first time using a product like this, I like it. Well, I'm gonna repeat it on the other eye, throw on my lashes, eye pencil, and something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, this is the look complete. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it came out. I haven't done like a full matte look in a long time. I guess it's not fully matte. I have shimmer on the lower lash line and in my inner corner, but matte lids. I haven't done this in a very long time and I really, really like how this came out. I'm so impressed with this so far. Like I didn't expect, uh, I don't know, it to be so easy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more tricky. I thought it would maybe like crack, but I haven't had any cracking or anything. So far it's just, it literally just looks like a shadow. Like it doesn't feel weird. It literally just seems like an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna keep playing with these. I have two more shades. So I'll obviously keep you updated on how these perform. But so far I'm just really pleased with how that came out. The eye pencil I paired with this is Prance from ColourPop. I really wanted something to kind of go with that like bluish, periwinkle-ish color. And I thought this would look cute. My lashes are the Blair lashes from Noella Lashes. You can use my non-affiliated discount code ButteBean to save some money. And on my lips, I went with the Kaleidos Lip Clay in Dune. I really like these. I did a full Instagram video lip swatching all eight of the new lip clays. I really like them. And I just thought a cute little neutral would go nice with this look, especially because I'm gonna be wearing a mask all day. I wanted something easy that I can take off for that because I don't like wearing lipstick under my mask. Um, but yeah, I love this. I think it's so cute. Very impressed so far. Um, let me zoom you out and I will give you my thoughts on everything. Welcome back. Did you enjoy the tutorial? Do you like my look? I feel so pretty. I'm gonna be very content wearing this all day. I just love this. I don't know if I've done this particular color combo, ever. <laughs> and that's hard to do. I don't know if I've missed a color combo, honestly, because I do so many different kinds of looks, but I don't know if I've ever done this specifically, especially the fact that it's mostly matte. I'm really digging it though. I think it looks really, really pretty. I really like it with this wig. <laughs> All right, let's chat about everything so far. Um, we can chat about the color wash that I used, the Youth Blush right here. I think it looks cute, it's really pretty. I feel like cream blushes in general aren't gonna be necessarily as pigmented as a powder blush. You could build it up, but I don't like to build up cream blushes too much because then you can have like chunkiness on your skin and I like things to blend in. So, I mean, it's not the most crazy pigmented blush, but this is also the lighter duo. The darker one's gonna give you more pigment depending on like what your skin tone is obviously, but I do like it. I think it has enough pigment, it makes me happy. It's not super sheer like those, what were they called? The ColourPop cheek serums, those were too sheer for me. This one seems fine. This is a very solid cream blush. I really like this formula. I've been using it for a while now. As far as this formula itself, I've only used this shade once, but I like the shade. I'm gonna keep using these palettes. I think they're really cute. I'm definitely gonna be busting this one out for the fall because it is totally fall vibes. And I'll honestly probably play with this one a lot in the summer because I like corally orangey blushes in the summer. But what can I say? The liquid eyeshadows. I know I've been saying it, but I'm just, I'm impressed. I don't know if it's gonna be something I reach for all the time, but I'm just really impressed with how easy it was for me to work with. I didn't have issues with it getting like too thick or getting crumbly or cracky or smudgy. I even had no problem blending it with my powder eyeshadows. I just used really small motions so that I didn't make a mess and waited till it was almost dry. But I don't know. I didn't expect these to be as easy to work with as they were. And so far I'm very impressed. 
I definitely want to hear your opinion on those because I'm not someone who's used to playing with liquid matte uh, shadows. So if you've played with them before, let me know what you think on these just based on how they applied for me. I think they performed really well and really, really easy. And I feel like these might even be good for someone if you just like want something really quick, like a nice wash of color, just do like maybe a couple taps and then just like smudge it out. Call it a day, I don't know. I think they're cute. And the palette, obviously I did not use every shade and I definitely took up a lot of my lid space to showcase uh, one of the liquid shadows, but I used a good amount. We used one, two, three, four, five of the shadows in the 16 pan palette. Everything performed fine. I personally don't have an issue with Musée Beauty shadow formula. I find it to be very buildable, which I think is great for beginners. I know I've said that before. Uh, many times, but I do stand by it. These shadows, they don't apply crazy pigmented right off the bat, but yet they do build up really easy if you do want more pigment. So these are gonna be great for beginners. This palette in particular, I think might actually be a good beginner palette because there's those neutrals and there are lots of pops of color, don't get me wrong, but they're not so dark and crazy. And I feel like these particular like pastel -y shades would complement the neutrals in here really well. I don't know. I feel like out of all the palettes from Musée Beauty, this might be the one I'd recommend to a beginner first, just based off of color story and how the formula performed for me. Obviously, I only use the one shimmer, but out of the shimmers I've used from Musée Beauty, they're really pretty because they leave like more of a wet effect. They're not crazy like glitzy sparkly, but they just look very shiny, very wet, but not satins either. They're more powerful than a satin, but they're not like glittery, if that makes sense. I really like this so far. I'm excited to do an Instagram video with it. I feel very pretty in this look. I feel pretty in this collection and I just would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to know if you already picked this collection up. Do you plan on picking it up? Have you tried anything from Musée Beauty before? What are your thoughts on them? If you made it to the end of this video, leave me an emoji that makes you think of art, whatever that means to you. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with everything that's going on in the world. There will be links in my description box that will take you to information and resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.